Bowie's an amazing stallion. He has so many attributes. His great attributes include the fact that he can get high class horses over all distances. He has group one winners at six furlongs, at 14 furlongs and everything in between at the highest level. I mean, these include like sprinters such as our own Naval Crown, Space Blues, Lucky Nine in Hong Kong, and then Gaeth over 10 furlongs, you know, the winner of the Judmont International Coronation Cup. He also is very capable of getting a top class two-year-old. He's our champion two-year-olds, such as Tudon Hot, our own Tudon Hot, Quarto. There's um, a very exciting young horse in Ireland, Henry Longfellow. Looks like he's going to follow the same path as many of the other Dabawis. Another thing that adds to his success is the fact he, get, he gets Group 1 winning Colts and Phillies. There's plenty of Group 1 winning Phillies around the world. Horses like Rebels Romance, they're winners on the dirt as well as turf. Another great attribute of the Dababi progeny is the fact that they're very tough, they tend to train on, so you get a lot of older horses that keep on improving and winning at the highest level. Dabawi now is starting to leave a legacy as a sire of sires. We're very lucky we have um, two of his best young sons. Two Don Hot in his first season as a stallion has produced a Group 1 winner. So nowadays you're starting to see his broodmares coming through and he seems to be nicking particularly well with Frankel on that cross. Two of them are classic winners, Adiar and Homeless Songs and there's Mustardaf. And I think that's a spear where the influence of Dubawi is going to continue to grow and grow for many years to come. I think too darn hot, what is clear is that there is true class in there. The trainers clearly believe there is talent. I know we've got talent in our own yards by Tudor Hot. Ever since he arrived here, he has been, he's been sort of destined to, to success. We've rarely had a horse who has been given so many high quality mares in his first couple of years. We've rarely had a horse with such strong books in years two and three. And his yearling sales were excellent. So for that to be vindicated now where it matters on the race course is, is really exciting for all of us. I think when Dali Stallions set out you know, with Dubawi's own father, Dubai Millennium, to see the dynasty that's now developing below that stallion line is the ultimate in, in what we do on the breeding side of it. So of course it is thrilling. The Dubawi line is such a great outcross for so many mares in Europe and further afield. Harry Angel's been fantastic since he's been here. He had a great start with his first two-year-olds. Horses like Marshman, Aldassim, Iconic Moment. Um, really, really carried the flag for him. He was a generational sprinter. He was running in a generation of sprinters that included the likes of Blue Point, who is at the moment taking all before him as a first season side. He was competing with Caravaggio, who was a top class sprinter, and hardened sprinters like Lamato and the Tin Man. So it was a real golden generation for that type of horse, and he was the best of them, effectively. Um, his performance in the Haydock Sprint Cup was the best they've seen for, I think they called it, the last 25, 50 years or something at the time. So just a world-class racehorse. He appeals to the market, he's a, he's a speed stallion. He's exactly what we needed at the time and he's, he's doing the goods. I think the, the biggest thing with the Harry Angels are their toughness and that they're genuine horses. They, they try hard, they improve with racing. You speak to any trainer who has one in their yard, they'll all say that the more work you give them, the better they get. Um, very, very genuine temperaments, you know, easy horses to deal with. And they have a bit of class, a bit of speed. So he's had a fantastic start globally. They look like race, race horses that will be able to compete all around the world from sort of six furlongs up to a mile. Um, so he's a really exciting international prospect for sure. We're very excited to stand Modern Games for the 2024 season. He was an amazing racehorse on the track, five-time Group 1 winner, won in four different countries. Group 1's in France, French Classic, the Lock Engine in England, and uh, two Breeders' Cups as well, uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile Tour and the Breeders' Cup Mile. So a phenomenal racehorse. I think his last 11 races were in Group 1 company, incredibly tough. So very excited to stand another son of Dubawi here after two Don Hot's recent success. Uh, Modern Games himself is out of a new approach mare. Uh, called Modern Ideals, which makes him a brother to Morge. So it's a very current family with lots going on and real good family as well. And uh, we're really excited to see him stand here in 2024.